tank. And remember, Eugenia Lincoln was going to get rid of the accordion. She was done. Eugenia walked east in the direction of the rising sun, the accordion in her arms, and the cat at her heels. The light of the world was gray. A low mist clung to the ground. Eugenia had no plan. She only knew that the accordion must be disposed of somehow. She could put it in the trash. She could throw it in the river. She could bury it. It would have been helpful to sit down and make a list of all the options, but there was really no time for lists, was there? She had to keep moving. Soon Gaston would wake up, and then the chaos and the clapping and the talk of hearts and what they held would begin all over again. The accordion was awkward to carry. Also, it felt like it was getting heavier. Eugenia stopped. General Washington stopped too. Meow, said the cat. Everything will be fine, said Eugenia. Order will be restored. She put the accordion strap over her neck, and the accordion immediately felt lighter, more manageable. Eugenia walked on. General Washington stayed at her heels. The sun came up slowly, burning away the mist, and then it appeared in its entirety, the whole and shining, whole and shining and glorious. Bah, said Eugenia to the sun. She continued marching east. She shaded her eyes with her hand. The question remained, what should she do with the accordion? Shall I burn it, bury it, throw it out to sea, said Eugenia. Meow, said General Washington in an approving kind of way. Eugenia, too, liked the way the words sounded. She said them louder. Shall I burn it, bury it, throw it out to sea? Truffles and butterflies and taxidermy and fleas, indeed. She would set the world to rights. Burn it, bury it, throw it out to sea, Eugenia shouted. Where are you going, Eugenia Lincoln, someone said. Eugenia stopped. She turned. She looked around. The accordion let out a wheeze of surprise. Eugenia saw no one. Was she having auditory hallucinations now? Had it come to that? Up here, said the voice. Eugenia turned. The accordion squeaked. I'm up in the tree, said the voice. Eugenia Lincoln looked up and saw Stella, Frank's little sister, sitting in the branches of an elm tree. Stella Endicott, said Eugenia, what are you doing up in that tree? Thinking, said Stella. Trees help me think. Do trees ever help you think? What are you doing with that squeeze box? It's an accordion, said Eugenia. What are you going to do with that squeeze box, said Stella. Are you going to burn it, bury it, throw it out to sea? Eugenia felt her, held, her face getting warm. You shouldn't eavesdrop on people, she said. What does eavesdrop mean? It means to listen in on other people's conversations, conversations said Eugenia. It's impolite. You shouldn't do it. You were shouting, said Stella. I couldn't not hear you. Nonetheless, said Eugenia, it's rude. Stella climbed down from the tree. She said, can I try the squeeze box before you burn it, bury it, throw it out to sea? It's an accordion, said Eugenia. Can I try it? I'm in a hurry, said Eugenia. I know, said Stella. You're always in a hurry, Eugenia Lincoln. Can I play it? Oh, for heaven's sake, said Eugenia. Please, said Stella. She stood on one leg. Eugenia noticed that the child was barefoot. Where are your shoes, said Eugenia. I'm not sure, said Stella. She looked around in a vague manner. I think I left them somewhere, but it's fine. You don't need shoes for climbing trees or for thinking or for playing a squeeze box. It's an accordion, and you shouldn't be running around in your bare feet, said Eugenia. Why not? You'll catch a disease. You sound like Frank, said Stella. He worries all the time, too. Sometimes siblings know best, said Eugenia. I don't know what a sibling is, said Stella. Can I play your squeeze box? Oh, for heaven's sake, said Eugenia. Fine, but only for a minute. Goody, 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 said Stella. She hopped up and down and held out her arms. Eugenia moved to lift the accordion from around her neck, and in doing so, she brushed her fingers against the keys. A sound came forth, a sweet sound, an unexpected sound. Eugenia froze. Pretty, said Stella. Play more. And Eugenia did. Eugenia Lincoln closed her eyes. She squeezed the box and pushed the keys down and felt a song coming out of her. A song? How did her arms, her hands, her fingers know what to do? Somehow they did. Eugenia played and Stella clapped and Eugenia's heart filled, lifted up inside of her. It was the most marvelous, unexpected thing that had ever happened to her. It was mysterious. It was joyous. The sun shone down. The sky was a br bright and brilliant blue. <clears throat> Eugenia Lincoln played the accordion. 
And when she stopped, Stella said, you can't burn it or bury it or throw it out to see Eugenia Lincoln. You have to play and play it. She hopped from one foot to the other. But can I try it now? Can I? Huh? Huh? Can I? 